Here in the York Barbell Museum and U.S. Weightlifting Hall of Fame is the history of strength training through the ages. In today's athletic world, the use of weights for improved athletic performance is at an all-time high. I'm Harvey Newton. In this program, we're going to demonstrate the proper techniques for explosive weightlifting. Explosive lifting is especially effective in developing an athlete's power. Power is the product of strength and speed and is vitally important to success in many sports. When you train using explosive lifting techniques, you'll be more efficient in performing powerful sport movements and better able to resist injuries resulting from repetitive sport motions. Athletes from nearly all skill and agility sports, as well as those from power sports, can all benefit from training with explosive lifting. The key to gaining results with explosive lifting is to first learn proper technique with light weights. Only after mastering proper technique should you move on to heavier resistance. So how do you get started? We'll begin with the grip. Although initially somewhat uncomfortable for your thumb, the hook grip is a special gripping technique used by all serious lifters. This grip adds at least 10% to the amount lifted in any pulling motion. The hook grip involves first placing your thumb next to the bar, then wrapping your index and middle fingers around the thumb. While weightlifting presents minimal safety risks to the athlete, there are some steps that you should take to decrease the possibility of being injured in the case of a failed attempt. The standard way to replace the barbell on the platform is to simply lower it under control from overhead. To keep the barbell from bouncing back toward the shins or knees, practice lowering a lightly weighted barbell under control. When the lifter fails to fix the bar overhead in the snatch and the bar is forward, there's a tendency to try to step forward to save the lift. In most cases, it's better to simply hold onto the barbell and let it drop well in front of you. Don't let go of the barbell overhead, as the barbell will most likely take a bounce and roll forward off the platform, endangering others or equipment. When the barbell drifts backward while overhead, it's best to drop the weight to the platform while the lifter jumps or steps quickly forward. Trying to hold onto a barbell that is drifting backward may result in injury to the shoulders, elbows, or upper arms. Now that you know what grip to use and how to safely drop the weights if necessary, we'll next demonstrate the correct lifting techniques for the snatch, clean and jerk, and a number of other pulling and pushing exercises. Although these explosive lifts are performed with blinding speed, we'll present them in slow motion and stop action to highlight the correct technique for each phase of the lift. We'll next show you how to master each lift using a top-down learning method. You'll first learn and practice the difficult upper movements of the lift, followed by the easier to learn initial pull from the floor. We'll now begin with our first lift, the snatch. The snatch consists of quickly lifting the bar overhead in one steady motion. We'll focus mostly on learning what's called the power snatch. To lift heavier weights, either the squat or split snatch is performed. The pulling motion is similar for all three styles. In less than a second, the snatch goes through several phases to get the bar from the floor to overhead. The first phase is the starting position. Stand with your feet flat on the platform about hip width apart with the bar over your toes. Squat with your balance toward the front part of the foot. Grasp the bar with a wide overhand hook grip. Your hips should be approximately even width or just slightly higher than the knees. 
Your shoulders should be over or slightly in front of the barbell. Rotate your elbows outward over the bar. Tuck your wrists slightly. Retract the scapula and raise your chest. Maintaining a flat back, keep your head in a neutral position with the eyes looking directly ahead. The next phase is the lift-off. Maintain the same torso angle throughout this part of the lift so that when the bar arrives at knee height, you have nearly the same angle between the hips and shoulders. The hips come straight up as the knees straighten to lift the bar. The bar sweeps slightly inward toward the shins. During this portion of the lift, the body's balance moves slightly from the front part of the foot to the midfoot. The bar continues upward by extension of your hips. As you raise your shoulders, the bar passes close to the thighs. As the bar passes this point, drive your hips toward the bar by bending the ankles, knees, and hips. Your balance returns to the front part of the foot. This is the scoop phase, which puts you in the all-important power position. You have quickly scooped your hips under the barbell which now contacts the top of the thighs or the lower abdomen. In the jump phase, rapidly accelerate the bar upward. At the top of this movement, strongly contract the trapezius muscles of your upper back and quickly bend your elbows, which remain over the barbell. The pull under phase begins before the barbell loses its upward momentum. You can only accelerate your descent by pulling against the bar with your feet on the floor. The wrists remain flexed and the pulling effort is directed at rapidly lowering your own body weight under the bar. This is not a simple free fall experience. In the catch phase, quickly rotate your elbows forward and push up against the bar before it loses its upward motion and begins to drop. The actual catch is felt in the wrists, which extend backward. The wrist, arm, and shoulder structure forms a solid line actively pushing up against the bar. The recovery phase consists of extending the knees and pushing down against the floor. If necessary, you can move in any direction to gain full control of the barbell. The best way to learn the snatch is to practice these progressive movements beginning with the press behind the neck. Rest the bar on the upper back, stand erect, and step back two to three steps from the rack. Keep the elbows directly under the bar while you press it overhead, fully extending the wrists so that the palms face toward the ceiling. After the press behind the neck, practice the overhead squat. Raise the bar to arm's length and place the feet flat on the floor, shoulder width apart, with the toes pointed out slightly. Flex the legs and hips to lower the body until the tops of the thighs are at least parallel to the floor. Keep your eyes focused straight ahead and maintain a rigid but neutral spine position. Pause for a moment in the bottom position, then recover to a standing position. Next in the learning progression is the high hang snatch pull. The high hang refers to starting a lift with the bar above the knees. Use a bar to get into position by flexing the ankles, hip, and knee joints. The arms should be straight, the trapezius muscles of the upper back stretched, elbows over the barbell, and the head in a neutral position. Bend the torso slightly forward with the shoulders over or slightly in front of the bar. Now perform an explosive vertical jump. Near 